What you're about to see is an episode of Comedy After Dark. This was a TV show that aired in Connecticut, 1992 to 1994, and starred high school friends. There was no high definition then. We shot the show on VHS tape. The old tapes broke down over time, leaving some episodes with poor video quality. Well, this is uh, show number 22, October 10th, 1992, and um, it was a pretty good show. As a matter of fact, when the show started to air, one of our skits here became one of our most, most con controversial uh, things we ever did. It was called Girl Talk, and we just got a lot of feedback. I mean, unbelievable. People went nuts over this. Some people liked it. Some people just couldn't believe what, was, what happened on it. Now, what's funny now is when I look back at that, this was 1992, and each year in television, things change, and... This now, if this was what what would happen there, if this was aired on television, people wouldn't even think anything of it. That's how much things have changed. Things are more more intense now than they were then. So here it is, October uh, 10th, 1992, show number 22. This is Tom's Diner. <laughs> What happens is people come up to my bar and ask for drinks. And I do a little something else. Okay, shut up. Thank you. Now I guess we'll just wait until people come to my bar. Tom's down here. Well, part of it. Hello? This is Tom's Diner. Well, hello there. If I don't get out of work till five, babe. What? <laughs> Sorry, Channel A. <laughs> hello? hello? She hung up. I guess I suck. Oh, weird. You ah. can't, you can't someone going... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, guys, thanks for uh, being at my bar here. This is just great. It's just working out fine. All right. Yeah. Well, how would you like soda motor oil first after I kill a guitar player? <laughs> no, I'd rather have scotch on the rocks. Well, we have this soda motor oil. All right, we'll give you scotch on the rocks. I guess we won't. So what's your problem? Well, uh, my life really sucks, man. His life sucks, man. It is horrible. He's singing. And why does it suck? Um, because I lost my job. What job was it? I was a... Uh, I worked in the street department. L.A.D.? Moses Street Department, man. He lost his job after getting fired. As he sucks and did it bad. Okay, what else? Oh, you're supposed to be helping me because you're not. You're making my life worse. His life is worse now because I'm singing. What a pain I am to him. Goodbye. Anyone, Get out. Has anyone ever threatened to kill your life before? Yes, all the time. I'm just wondering. Goodbye. He's threatening my life. I'm going to die. <laughs> this place sucks. Oh, have soda motor oil? Soda motor oil? Yes. We got a customer here who wants soda motor oil. Da, 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 da. Just drink the bottle. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, it's really good. It's what supposed to drink all of it. So, how you been, mister? Oh. I am really doing good. I don't know any words of these songs, so I'm making myself look like an idiot. You know, Great Pupin's a really good mustard. I'm putting Grey Poupon on my hamburger. It tastes real good. Well, thank you. I think I'm going to the bar down the street. <laughs> what? Did I say something? Yes. Can I help you? Water. We don't have water. What's your problem? I lost feeling in my fingernails. 
Have some motor oil. No, um, 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 The guy here wants a Slurpee. He's gonna suck it up and fill up his gut. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Enough, no Slurpee. Get out! I'm swimming. Come in here. Okay, anyone normal? Yes, anybody else? Customers, please. I need someone. Sir, sir, sir. I want that bottle and stuff. I've heard it was really, really, really good. Let me have it. Let me have it. Take the bottle. Da, 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 da. She's drinking little oil. Now she's dead. She is on my floor. She's dying. She is choking like a thing. Now she's rolling on the floor. She tipped over and is puking. She is dead. Da, 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 da. She is dead. Till next day. time, I'm Tom and this is Tom's Stupid Diner. <laughs> I just hope I don't get shot. Bye. Now, roll the tape! I'm sorry to say that's going to have to stop, unless we have stars and they agree to do it. And I have no monologue today, it's just that, you know, we got just wanted to tell you about the news of what happened here. And uh, it's pretty great. Also, I see people laughing in the back because they're not listening to me. What? Thank you. Uh, I think the microphone stands. <laughs> So anyways, what we want to do is, well, you know, I feel like Ross Perot now here. But we were on 32, they screwed us, and now we're off, and now we're on 8. And, you know, it's very... It's very... Twist the thingy. Twist it, right? Twist the thingy. Twist... Ah! So, you know, we have a really great show today. Of course, we, it's kind of started off slow at that time's diner. Tom's diner thing, but hey, we just had today to practice it. So I hope you people are not shutting us off. We are a different show. 
We're not like that show, uh, Comedy Haywire, which is on this channel, or that other show that guy does that Paul McCartney impression. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm getting off to a good start here. I think I just knocked out a few teeth. Uh, well, I hope you... Is that your finger? Uh, yeah, um, well, you know, it's, uh, as well. <laughs> so, uh, well, we have a great show today. I am not a prick, so don't get that impression. <laughs> Actually, the shows you've seen, the past shows you've seen already have been on eight, but this is the first show we know we're actually on it. So, uh, also, I don't know if this is our 21st show or our 22nd, because you may have seen last week a live show of the election. We don't know. We're filming, we're filming this a month ahead of time. So, 22 shows we've done. That's incredible. Shut up! The hell is this? I'm trying to run a show here and there's people playing back there. Go over there, there's a guy, he's climbing ropes. What do you think this is, gym class? And what's this over here? People eating sticks. For God's sakes, you just stuck it up the guy's... You know. Rectum. Rectum, yes. Some rectum surgery going on here. Well... And you bet your ass I wrecked him. <laughs> <laughs> That's our co-producer, John Landolfi, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, excuse me. We have French kissing going on now. I saw the tongue actually come out and go in the throat, and they're getting right, in, right into the stomach. You should see the size of your tongues! My God! I thought my dog had a big tongue. These tongues are like arms. It's like... Get out my dog! Get out my dog! Oh my, my God. God! Their tongues are stuck inside each other. Oh boy, I think... Uh... <laughs> That's right. Kent uh, Golden, I think his name was, right? Yes. Yeah. He's gone. He left. So because he him. didn't know. He didn't visit. He, he couldn't know. He didn't know. He yeah, he, he's coming. afraid of commitment. So no. <laughs> no. So don't get married to him. He'd leave you the first day. Don't. I tell you, don't. He's a nice guy. I think he's I just jelly. broke another rule. Uh -oh. And he's great in bed. How much you know? Hey, there's another. Egg. I am your father. Look, you must find Victor. He is your father. Don't listen to him, Luke. He's a green little bastard. <laughs> okay, another person gone is Heather Lang. I had to fire her, but she understands why, because she couldn't act, and believe me, she couldn't act. We put her in front of a camera, and this is this is my impression of her. <laughs> Mike, I thought there was no slander on this yes, show. Yes, we can't make fun of anybody we know. She knows we did it. I told her. Am I right, Lawrence? Yeah. She, it's our, yeah. she has our, we have her permission for to what? say what she did. She said it. She doesn't mind. She can't act. There you go. Am I right? Yeah. Why don't we explain to Channel Eight about our budget situation? Oh yes, Channel Eight. Trust us on this. We have no budget. We have. No budget at all here, so our quality may be bad. Of course, we got some new videotapes, so there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it a applaud. New videotapes on the show. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Jan Saldo supplied us with five tapes and credits. So we got credits. That are spelt all wrong. Yes, they're spelt all wrong, but we'll deal with that later. You're fired. Thank you. And, uh, excuse me. Okay. I have control. <laughs> yes. Okay, we'll be back after this. When the band gets off their asses and do the job they're supposed to do. Uh, we'll, we'll be back in a moment. The comedy hour. Actually, I think girls, girl talks next, so uh, you might want to get ready for that. But play the music first. <laughs> Why are you getting me? Getting the sun. <laughs>
Now, it's girl talk. Talk with Melissa and Nikki and the Fabulous Philippine. Yes. Now, 
I'm campaigning right now all over the country, and I was wondering, would you have an affair with me, both of you? At no. the same time, oh, I'd be baby. a record for what I've done with Jennifer Flowers. Oh, baby. No, um, thank you. Um, my I need some chocolate! Get me some chocolate! This is yeah! to the comedy hour. Now we, we have a change here. Only temporary. This bench is not going to stay here. It's too low and it's too long. So it reminds me of a little something to add on to here. <clears throat> well, we are now on, uh, excuse me. We are now on, we are now on uh, channel eight and my voice is gone because I'm going to tell you just did. Bite me, you little bastard. <laughs> Uh, uh, I want to say hello to our affiliates, I guess you can say. I don't know, the <coughs> surrounding towns. I'm sorry, I can't remember if all the towns are seen in Boston. Hello to North Haven, Hamden, West Haven, East Haven, Guilford, Durham, Wallingford, Madison, uh, maybe Old Saybrook, Bridgeport, uh, Brantford, New Haven, New Haven, East Haven, East Haven. 
West Haven. Um, yes. Uh, Wallingford. Wallingford, uh, New York. I'm sorry if we forget your name. And of course, our hometown, right where we're filming the show now, coming to you from North Bradford North Bradford and Northford, Northford District. District. Yes, right here. Now, let me tell you people in the other towns about this. Basically, we're the same town. We're the same damn town. Where Northford is the rich side, and North Brantford is the more city side. But basically, we all go to the same schools, we have the same mayor, the same police station, a very tiny police station, with many police officers. I don't know how they squeeze them in there, but they do it. And fire stations all over the place. <clears throat> and we go under the same rules and everything. The only difference is the name and the store's name. Because instead of North Bradford store, you got the Northford store. And for me, those of you from other towns may have heard of that story. People go there. And that's what you have. Now, we have questions in the audience. I think I heard some hands going up. So, yes. Even though I cannot see at all behind there because I'm blinded by the light, I, I could have sworn I saw some shadows come. So if you have questions, what are they? Okay, yes. Um, I am God, and I am the best person in this town and all over Connecticut. Okay. Normally, people, I do not sound like this either. I killed my voice during the last sketch we did. Say hello to our lovely announcer. <laughs> Sweet, sweetie here, uh, Lawrence Stegley. Right. Lawrence Stegley, how you doing? Okay, I'm here. Have a good day? Yeah. How's it feel to be seen all over the place? Good. Right. You think we'll get dates now? You think maybe we'll... Girls, come on! We're single! I know. Even though you don't know where to contact us still. Hey. Okay. Well, this... <clears throat> we don't really know if this is our 21st... You know our camera guy has been here since the beginning and he still doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> and that it. I'm gonna get used to this. Questions? Yes. <laughs> What's a tampon doing under your chair? Oh my god. I think that's from our last sketch girl talk. They inserted Could it. Can I have it? <laughs> yes, you may have it. No, it's my she may have it. I'll fight you. I'll fight you. Lawrence, I'll let you have it. <laughs> Come on, right here, you punk. Oh! Oh, God, I can't stop it! Oh! 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 Damn. Oh, darn it. Oh, my backbone. Or my back ass. <laughs> Ah, boy, that uh, worked. I got my voice back. Give me some sense. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. Question: Is that tampon because you're not feeling fresh? Is that why it's there? I don't feel fresh today. I hate when that happens. No, I, I don't feel too fresh. Uh, actually, I was swimming in a sewer earlier. And I think that's the cause of it. Oh, Lord. <laughs> It's more like this. <laughs> oh, I love it. You gotta put that face on. Uh, love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh my god. They are not fresh. Oh, that just. Oh. Did you me off? There's another show Seriously. going on next to here. Because we have no budget. That's right. We have no budget! I am Vigo, Master Vigo. We have a good That's the point I was trying to get. <laughs> now, we didn't like, as I was trying to say earlier, before me and Lawrence got in a fight, and there were questions in the audience. This could be our 21st show or our 22nd show, which means you either already saw our live on the television show of Election Day, which means there's either our new president or the same president, I do not know because we're filming this way before we're filming that show. Odd, confusing, well, who cares? So this week we have a very special good and bad list <coughs> with an intermission actually, after our 11th one. So if some of the band members, you know, will show the comedy side and I'll just That's point so you great. when to start, or I'll say intermission. But basically this is about good and bad things about having a talk show. Uh, this is a talk show more than it is a game show. <laughs> and so, 
Well, that's uh, usually reads the good thing, so if he won't be reading any today, you're fired. Get that one here. Oh, no, here you go. Screw you. Sorry. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. I mean, it's gonna. <laughs> Alright, is our good and bad thing? 22 good and bad things this week. <clears throat> yes. Thank you. Oh, I'm too sexy for my show. Too sexy for my show. A good thing. It's fun. A bad thing? The fun causes you to laugh. Yeah. Try that again. I screwed up. I can do that. I'm the host. Go ahead. Read the A first good one. thing. It's fun. A bad thing? The fun causes you to laugh yourself to death. <laughs> like now. <laughs> <laughs> Watch, I have a metal plate in my hand. You can see, it's so loud it actually shakes the drums. Listen to this. See, it's not in my mouth, it's in my head. I thought I had a glass on. I had to help with it. A good thing! A good thing, the costumes you wear. A bad thing, you're not wearing pants. <laughs> I think uh, this is going pretty uh, bad. Do things like this, people are supposed to laugh after all the bad things, but no one really cares, so they're gonna make, us, they're gonna make me look bad. Because yes, I did write this, all of it, every 22 minutes. <laughs> they're having orgasms in the audience. I didn't know I can do that to you. And the guys, too. Well, a good thing. The bad thing? Not for long. I quit you, ingrate. Yeah! Yeah! take over the show. I think they've already done that.
A good thing. We, we meet celebrities. I go on with this list. Yeah, it's good. Say, screw. Yeah, go on with it. You know, you know people are supposed to laugh. Yeah, come I on. Come 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 on. A good thing, we meet celebrities. A bad thing, the celebrities are Leona Hemsley and Charles Manson. Right now, people all over are watching us. Bad thing, they're watching us take showers. Ooh. <laughs> a good thing. It's a good thing. People discover us when they flip by. When they discover us, they sh immediately shut us off because we suck and no one laughs at good and bad for us. They make yeah. me feel bad. I'm the host. I spend time at school writing these things up and no one laughs. A good thing. A bad thing, you. Good thing, us. Bad thing, them. Let's take an intermission. We'll be back in a moment with the second half of Good and Bad List. Maybe people will find out how it is to laugh and they'll learn how to do it for the second half. We'll be back with the intermission. This list is pissing me off. <laughs> A good thing. Ronald Reagan. The bad thing, he's almost dead. <laughs> A bad thing, maybe the camera should be on the tripod so it doesn't move. I think that's the purpose of it. <laughs> A good thing. A bad thing, you're no Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> The bad thing, they won't give me the time of day. A good thing. A good thing, we make fun of Dan Quayle. A bad thing, he's our producer. <laughs> A good thing, we discuss issues. A bad thing, issues nauseate me. Comedy like this. A bad thing is comedy like this. A good thing. A good thing. The show brings us closer together. A bad thing. They still won't give me the time of day. A good thing. The show is an hour long. A bad thing. That's an hour of my time. I could have been talking to the psychiatrist. <laughs> A good thing. Mike does his celebrity impression. And they still won't 
give me the time of day. I'm passing! This list was too damn long. And now the show. Okay, well, now, could you just throw that 
Yeah. Bring it like come right here and say, on your first date, how much money did he spend? Well, actually, first we went to the movies and he spent all together fourteen dollars. Yeah, then we oh! Fourteen dollars! Oh! It's all bucks. on your budget too. On our budget, fourteen bucks, some cheap. Oh! But, but then we went to this really expensive sushi restaurant and. <laughs> We had lots of sushi, which came to close to $100, and then, then he rented oh a limo. Oh, boy! 100 ducks! Oh, boy! And we went on this limo, and we drove him out in the limo for about four hours, so that's $80 an hour. Well, that's a lot. And then, <laughs> then we went out dancing, and it cost about $10 each to get in here, and then we went back to his apartment, and, well, you know, that's personal. Whoa, bingo! Whoa! Does it have wings? Does what have wings? Love connection! And that's right, right here in Love Connection, we're connecting people. By the way, do you remember who I am? You're some guy! Chuck Woolery! Yes! Now, did you fall madly in love with this man? Well, he's okay. But you'd rather go out with me, because I have no dates, because I am the host. Never. There you go. I'm married, by the way. What to who? Bitch. How could you be married? I mean, who would fall Don't for you with that haircut? Oh, oh my God. That haircut is awful. You need something done with that. I'm telling you. Well, it's good to shift it. Move up and down. In school, but, you know, I can't. What are you studying? Yeah, I could do something with this hair. It would just be so perfect. I just cut it along the sides, so spike it up. Can do something like this, how oh, it would be wonderful. Well, see me after the show and we'll deal with it. Okay. Now, would you like to go out with this man again? Well, okay, if you insist. Well, guess what? What? He's on the TV screen right now, so let's say hello to him, Jay Black. Hello, everyone. Hello. Jay, how's it going? Quite good, Chuck. Now, how do you feel to be in that television? It's quite small in here, actually. <laughs> now, hey, do you have any phobias? You're afraid of television screens? Well, no, Chuck, but I am quite afraid of cars. And why would that be, Mr. Black? Well, uh, I was hit by one when I was three years old, and I was quite hurt. <laughs> what happened? Well, after they peeled me off of the road I, and put me back together. Was it just a head left? Okay. Well, now, Mr. Just think, from his car accident, it's so cute. He has this little tiny scar right on his left buttock. Oh, it's Whoa! So slip sliding, slip sliding, oh, yellow mellow! You have to see it. It's just so adorable. Talk to the lovely people. I'll talk to Jay while I go there. Just a moment. Hi, honey! Hi, how you doing? I'm doing good. Did you enjoy our day? Yes. No. Now, is he checking out your buttocks? Now, let's see your buttocks. That's buttock my buttock. Hang on. Whoa! Whoa! That Big so buddy! Adorable. Whoa! Well, that was crazy there. I'll see you soon. See you, Chuck. Wasn't that just so cute? I love it. Here you go. Thank you there. Now, ooh, phone. Ain't that interesting? Do you like the phone? I love the phone. It's delicious. You ever put salt on it? It tastes it? like chicken. You know what you do is you lick all the earwax off the receiver after talking into it? You talk on that for phone for hours and it gets all stuck on there. Lickety lick. I still say it tastes like chicken. Chicken. Chicken is wonderful. No, chicken it is, it. It is it a sense. dead bird. A dead bird. Now, let's go. Yes. We, we... I still say you have to do something with this. Sort of like a surfing Look party. at this. You have like wings coming up the side. You look like a girl. You gotta fix this. Okay. A little better. Well, I don't put hairspray in it. And I just, just I get up from work. Don't put that there. I get up. Then, I go to work. I get up. I go to work. I get up. I work. Jesus! I get up. I go to work. And we'll do this. I have no one. And we'll fix it right here. <laughs> Isn't that so much better? Yeah, I like it. Looks great, Chuck. Thank you. Now, Jay, why don't you tell us about your date of what happened when you were out there? Well, I took her out to dinner for the sushi, and I thought she really liked it. Yes? Then we went on the limo ride. That was nice. They had a little camera in there, so we got it all recorded. I'll show you that tape later. <laughs> oh! Was there any profanity in it? 
Um, well. Ask her. What's there? You'll find out where my little birthmark is. Oh! Malfunctioning here! Uh oh! Oh! Okay. Uh -huh. So, now when you are on this date, any French kissing, like tuck, tuck, sliding against each other, was there? Of course. Whoa, then we have a perfect date. Let's see what our audience thought. Fifty-eight percent for Bob, seventy-five percent for Jack. 100%? Well, I don't know my percents too well, and I don't think the audience does, but 100% for Jay Black! Let's bring him out on the little connection! Oh my god! Oh, we have a happy couple. Please take a seat, people. Isn't this cute? They're slip sliding all over chocolate. <laughs> you might want to pick up your foot. Is that motor soda oil our sponsor? <laughs> Please demonstrate how you did that. Well, you take the fork, and you take the sushi, and you go like this, and you clean your mouth, and then chew it up. Did you chew it? Was it slimy and go down your throat like? No, it was quite delicious. Like that stump thing that happens on a day. It goes down quite good. Like that auto <laughs> soda motor oil? Now, that's soda motor oil. Did you drink any on your day? Did you buy her any? Did she buy you any? <clears throat> you paid for the day. <laughs> he paid for it. You paid for it. <laughs> Oh. Cross your legs. <laughs> One thing I love when I cross my legs is my buttocks hangs out. <laughs> and it just hangs out and it is just so fun. We have no budget. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's squeezable, too. Isn't it? Oh, it's quite squeezable. <laughs> it's not like Howard Stern's, that's for sure. It just hangs there like a big thing. Like a big sack of liposuction fat. Mmm, <laughs> mighty delicious now. Doesn't that sort of taste like sushi? Oh, baby. Yeah. Tastes like fish. Does it? I want it taste like fish. Doesn't it taste like fish? It doesn't smell like it. Did you smell like fish on your date? Any of you? No, because that was fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, do you use summer tea? Twice a day. Whoa! Twice a day. How about you? Of course. Very good. Well, I want to thank you for coming here today. Thank you, Chuck. Man! Yes, thank you for coming. Thank yes, you, Chuck. you're a man too, thank I think. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> now, Lawrence, what's your first name? Lawrence. Lawrence. Well, why don't I sit here? All right. Now, on your date, how did it go? My date? Oh, oh, on my date. I thought you said you're my date. Oh, well, that, we could work that out. <laughs> no, no, thanks. Now, did you have fun on your date? Did you love it? No, actually. You see, we started the date, and I picked her up. She was not ready. I waited for three hours, okay? Three hours? I was there all night. She had some crappy elevator music playing in the background, just sitting there like one Was it like opera music, or what was it? I have no idea, but it was really boring. What the hell are you doing? Oh, I'm interviewing. Now. Can you sit down? During your You're date. You're making me nervous. During your date, did she smack you over the head with anything? Uh, yes, she did, as a matter of fact. Newspaper. And how did you, you just, the whole day was a complete mess, was it? Yes. Who paid for everything? What are you doing? Who you, paid for you everything? You guys did, remember? Oh, I keep forgetting that. Now, Sit down. was she good looking? 
Yeah, she was good looking. Very good looking, or what? Did she make you sick? No, she Wanted was to good decapitate looking. her head and no, put was, it in the TV box. She was box. good looking. It's just that we just didn't hit it off very well. Ah, didn't hit it off. <laughs> now, let's call her up. Now, where did you go on your date? Uh, well, I wanted to go see a movie. A movie. But she wanted to go to an opera concert. An opera concert! <laughs> an opera concert! Sort of like. <laughs> So I didn't understand what we were, what they were doing, so I fell asleep, and she yelled at me. She yelled at you? Did she, like, smack you? Yeah, that's when she hit me over the head with the newspaper. Like this, like that. Yes, yes. <laughs> I get the idea. Well, let's go to her on the phone or the TV right now. She's live on the phone. I don't think she's there. <laughs> there she is. Hello and welcome to Love Connection! Yo. Now, what did you think of your date? Well, he was a nice guy. He was just boring. Did you like him? Like, was he good looking? Yeah, he was good looking. But... What do you look like? Some people say Dylan from Beverly Hills 90210. Do you agree? Yeah, there's a resemblance. Whoa! Whoa! We got the Love Connection going on. Split splash, I was taking a bath. Hardly. Were you taking a bath together on your date? No. Whoa. What, Any connection at all? The tongues touch, her eyeballs meet. No, but my hand touched his head when he pissed on my rug. <laughs> I got tired of waiting for her and I had to go to the bathroom. She never told me where it was. Well. You never asked. You, just you were in the beat? bathroom the whole time taking a shower. Oh. You need to suck off my body. Talk about split splashing all over the car. Talk about marking your territory. Bring her out, even though you two dislike each other. So, ladies and gentlemen, here she is. <laughs> Welcome to Love Connection. Oh. I guess she hates me too. No, I now. This date was a complete waste of time for both of you, am I right? I think it was a complete waste of time. If she had been ready on time, and if we had gone to the movie I had wanted to go to, maybe it would have been a good date. What's that? Well, if you had called me and told me what time you were coming and what you I wanted to do. I thought the show would have told you that. No! Thanks for watching us today at the Comedy Hour. Uh, we had a great show today, very packed. I don't think we've had a bad show. Thank you again to Channel 8 and all those towns watching. I'm Mike Burke and I'm not wearing pants. Goodbye!